Hey crew, whether you're a parent, single, in a relationship, in school, or working full time, life can be crazy and our schedules can all be hectic. Luckily, Caraway's nonstick kitchenware makes cooking a breeze and cleanup even easier. And it's basically life proof. It is life made easy in the kitchen. With so many collections of their internet famous kitchenware to explore, there's a Caraway for every kind of cook. A non-toxic, chemical-free ceramic coating means food can be prepared with a peace of mind that no toxic, hard-to-pronounce chemicals will leach into your healthy ingredients. Every set comes in various modern shades to fit with any design aesthetic and includes easy access storage solutions to keep the kitchen tidy. My favorite feature about Caraway and its kitchenware and bakeware sets are the organization systems that it comes with. It keeps everything tidy and you know where everything is supposed to be. You know where your lids are. You're not clanking around looking for lids to find, fit on the pots. It really makes the whole kitchen experience just that much better. And now introducing Caraway's prep set. 10 essential knives and utensils designed for chopping better, prepping cleaner, and storing easier. It's just making the kitchen flow that much easier. Thank you, Caraway. Caraway features non-toxic, easy cooking, and well-loved kitchenware and bakeware. Over 50,000 people have raved about their Caraway kitchen. Now it's time for you to try it yourself. Visit carawayhome.com slash TLC to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners, so visit carawayhome.com slash TLC or use code TLC at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. Motherhood isn't always picture perfect, and we are three moms just trying to figure it out together. Let's get real. Welcome back to the Think Loud Crew podcast. My name is R. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm Shannon. There's this big sign right here, right, that says, stay close to your microphone. Don't bang on the table. We can take a break and swearing is okay. And all I hear when Kyle talks is this. She goes like this. You go like this. I was looking at your hands I, last episode. Yes. And she was like, and then it did a little bit. I'm I like, just keep <laughs> staring at your hands. Every time you talk, you talk with your hands. And I'm just like, do you not see this big sign right here? I actually read that sign multiple times. <laughs> and ignored it. And the only thing that I took for away from that is... Swearing is okay. Swearing is okay. <laughs> we can take a break. I do emote and I do talk with my hands yes. a lot. Yes, and it's like your nails. Is, is it the done. nails? It's the nails. It's the nails for me. It's the nails and the hair. How do you feel having hair? I feel good. I feel like I want to go outside. Like, I, like I want to like do something. Yeah, like I, I want to like get yeah. dressed and do, do something. Yeah. But I'm like, what the fuck am I about to do? On your birthday, Zach, when he saw you, he said, "Tell your sister to keep her hair like that." I it's like, cute. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of people like come out the woodworks. Like, girl, I've been praying you were gonna get braids, and I oh, was like, what? <laughs> Not pray that you get braids. First of all, who is this? <laughs> that is so random. Yeah, I like you with. So, Please. are you going to keep them for a minute? Are you going to get oh, I, new ones? Oh, this is my... Oh, yeah. So, what I do is I do, like, the cornrows in the front, and everything else is twisted. But um, just for, like, maintenance, I don't... I'll let the backs, like, run their course, and I'll just redo, like, the, the front, front ones. Oh, that's smart. For, like, yeah, maintenance or do another design. Because, um, like, my little baby hairs do get a little funny. Sometimes these are, like... Why don't you lay the baby hairs down? I mean, I did, but I also don't have all the proper tools because I haven't been laying my baby hair down. So I just need to like go to the beauty supply and um, get like edge control, get some and edge brush. control and like a little brush and stuff. But yeah, I've been enjoying this hair life. Um, I'm so happy because in the morning, normally it's like I have to use all this product. Mm-hmm. And it's like lately I've been like on this whole debate of like waking up before the kids or do I get dressed <clears throat> after I take baths at school. So I've been doing this whole like getting up earlier to get myself together. But recently I've been like, cool. Like, you don't got to do your hair. Yeah. I don't have to do that. I don't have to That's let my hair all feeling. the time. Like my hair, I feel like can actually be like, get healthy and like be strong now did you die you dyed it yeah i actually took a whole video oh i didn't even tell y'all my hair my hair my hair moment 
What oh, there was me in that table again. <laughs> I'm going to put my hands. <laughs> hair, hair moment. It's because your nails are like highlighter orange with like little chrome tints. They're so like when you orange. do that, it's like they're I'm just it's staring, staring at, at you. Your hand so when nails. I got my nails done, first of all, my nails before were looking. Like mine right now? Tragic. They, they were worse. Tragic. tragic. They were like, someone could have been like, oh, poor girl. Like, what happened to your hands? Are you okay? Not like, poor girl. That's how I felt my hands looked. Um, I'm done. Like, <laughs> oh, you need help. Who's taking care of you? Not yourself. Um, that's how I felt. Like, I just looked like I just was. Okay, we get it. Okay. Really uncapped. So I was having a really long week. So when I finally was able to go get my nails done, I was so happy. They look really good. Um, So I got Gel X. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's like a whole nail. Yeah. And yeah. they look great. They so feel good. Have you good. never gotten Gel X before? You're telling us, like, me and Shy don't get, get acrylics <laughs> or get Gel X. It's okay. I'm all for it. It's been a really long time. I think no, that they I'm, look really I'm good. Here for it. I I'm, haven't seen you with nails on or hair or in like a earrings. Very like long this time. is this is giving I'm a happy. whole look. I was helping her through the process because oh. she was like, she was sending me pictures. I was really excited. And I was like, get your nails long, girl. It's your yeah. birthday. Yeah. She was like, we were like, what shape? Shannon was like, coffin. Coffin. <laughs> I feel like Shannon, you normally have fun nails. I do, but and I'm she's got on this, nails I'm right on now. this um, natural girl era right now. Oh, natural hair, natural nails. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not as cool as you. Yeah, I'm, so. I mean, I miss my nails. The nails are there. I love my toes right now. I got oh, a French tip. Toes away. <laughs> <laughs> she just pulled her toes out and like wrinkled them or like twirled them. I moved them. Oh I no! Moved them. Should I be hating on my toes? I hate your toes. <laughs> she hates on my toes, but at the same time, she got this one big toe. My toe oh, is so big. We're my, coming for her toes. Oh my no, no, no. Big toe it's like a mutual like toe, toe, toe thing. Is it? It's like a real big toe. It's like I'm a thumb scared of it on now. her foot. No. Oh, it's just a big toe, but I have really small feet, so that's why the big toe just like is toeing. It's like, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's like a big, it's like a real big toe, though. I feel like it makes me go up a like, half a size. She's had to change and her shoe size other just toes. for the toes. Other toes are light, little baby toes, little, like little sausages. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys ever used your feet to jack someone off? <laughs> <laughs> the silence in here. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> have you? Like, Am I missing that? <laughs> no, my man is about to get jacked off with my feet tonight. <laughs> Make sure your toes look good. And you gotta get a pair of locks oh. before. So my your man feet are loves soft. my yeah. feet. Oh my god! I've never god. had it, and I'm excited now. I no one's ever asked well, you that babe, question. That was wild. Get ready! Oh my gosh! You guys just gave me a new I thing was just to do. Thinking about it. I mean, how many times have you done this? I wasn't this? thinking about it. I'm not talking about this. <laughs> Do you do this with Zach? Oh my god, no, I'm really not talking about this. My eyes are twitching. <laughs> no. Yes, she does. No, I don't. Yes, she does. Um, She's smiling too much. My head's starting Jackie, to hurt. Jackie, my head's starting to hurt too. With your feet. <laughs> Yo, I just learned something new today. Yeah. Okay. Gotta lean back. <laughs> Put your feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I. I really need to, like, what? Yeah, you got to work on your arches. Have you ever, oh, never mind. I was going to ask you a question, but I probably already know that answer. Say it. Say it. No, because Shannon's going to be mad at me, and everyone's going to say, you're talking bad about Shannon. What? Now I, wanna know I was going to ask if you've ever used your boobs to jack them off, but I know, like, you're, <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, Shannon doesn't have, like, big boobs like us, so. <laughs> never mind. You know, I have fantasized about Should that. I just, like, rub the nipple I've on really, the tip. I've really wanted to do that, but I... I don't. I don't even have. Yeah, cleavage. yeah. That's why I didn't ask you. Okay, <laughs> I have one thing to say before we get into our actual How did we topic. Get that? Yeah. It was so hilarious. I was I on that. a bachelorette trip, and we were talking about like boobs and nipples and areola sizes or whatever. And mm-hmm. the girl kind of had like a boobs yeah. like you, and she was looking at me, and she was like, "Can your boob like go to your mouth? Mm-hmm. And like, yeah. if it could, would you suck your boobs?" Yeah, and mm-hmm. I was like. No. <laughs> and what I is said, is that tape? something like you want to do? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> and it was like the most serious was conversation. She, she, really want to she suck- was genuine. She was like, I wish I had big boobs because I want to put my boob in my mouth. And I was like, 
okay, <laughs> how did I get here? <laughs> and this is she someone said, I just she's met. She's got big tits. Oh, she yeah. was. I'm she ask was her. dead ass. She was like, "You have like nice sized boobs. Like, do you ever just like?" She asked the wrong sister. And I'm like, no. Have do you, you do, that? do that? I have, but it's not like a regular occurrence. Did it turn you on? Oh, my God. Did you guys see the video of the lady on the shade room? And then she was on World oh. Star. That she's she's <laughs> breastfeeding her, her man oh. like five yes. or six times a day. I just saw this. Yo. And it's it's brought them closer. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I ain't nursing I my man. Know. Do you so, hold him like a baby when he does it? Like, how do you coddle him? Do you RB? Is this their kink? When do you guys go to work? Because how is he nursing how on you five to six times on you? a day, <laughs> y'all? But I just find it crazy. Like, okay, you paying them bills? <laughs> but she said from two thousand like seventeen. Seventeen. That's to now. been six years. This is six years of milk is coming out your tits. Is crazy. this like they found out on the cruise? She forgot her breast yeah, pump. Yeah, yes, so yes, she yes. like relieved him, but or she he relieved, relieved her. her. That's why I first. Said, I that's get why it. I did that's it before. real. Okay. Yeah. That's a real Maybe feeling. I have sucked my own friends' right. boobs to help to relieve help. them. Okay, mm-hmm. I but that was a one time thing. Exactly. And then you walked in on us. Yes, I have, I have. I feel like I remember yeah, that. Yeah, it was yes. in my pantry. And Shannon was like, what are you guys doing? Y'all, I remember it. <laughs> Wait, not Shannon. Shine is sucking on another person's titties in her pantry? Is that what yes. I just heard? She was literally about she to was cry because it hurt. her and boob she was, was so engorged. I was, was milking that? her. <laughs> I remember that. Look, I have a whole video from when we went to Vegas for that wedding. And you my boobs, were milking and yourself. And I drank. And when you drink alcohol, it's like that. They are milky and like hard. Really, it's so yeah. painful, and so I didn't I have a pump. I get that, like a one-time thing, yeah, but, but not... then for for them to, mm. it was like it helped our relationship. Like, is this your girl's kink? And then he said that his skin started to clear up. <laughs> oh, he was like, I'm receiving the benefits yes. of this milk. Yes. She was like really into it. She was like, well... You guys drink other people's milk and da 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 da, but it's facts. just facts, and it's like not. And she was trying to like make it justify it. You know like, what? I get it. I'm happy but I for don't them. Get it? I've never said I wasn't happy for them. I just want to see how this works. Like how to? Where how, does he sit? Is, is he it next a to you? Thing? Is like, he on your we? lap? Do you rub him while he's is doing it? Is she like rubbing his is beard? Is it a right. sexual thing? Are, are you, you are you getting hard? hard? Are you looking up at her? If you guys haven't that seen this video, go they... and watch this video. It was like an interview video of yeah. this couple. They basically... Really is this going to be their intro to she their OnlyFans? She explained <laughs> that she was on a cruise, her boobs were engorged, and that she forgot her pump. Her husband started so to nurse on her to relieve her from that pain, which we've all been there if you have nursed, yeah. if you've been, if you it breastfeed. Hurts. It hurts. You don't give a fuck who's sucking your boob. You just mm-hmm. want it to come to be out. Relieved. But... It turned into something that brought them closer. It's now six years later, and he is still nursing from his on wife her tit. on her tit. I just want to know more. I'm confused. Now I'm really confused because I'm like, is really? it a sexual thing? Do you get off on that? Well, I don't like, think so. There because are kinks like that where yeah, it's like there's but, age play. There but are I like, don't think that they're doing it to be kinky. He was talking about how his his health has improved and his skin. <laughs> like I don't think that's kinky. But no. it can still be kinky and he still get the benefits. He may not understand that this is his kink. They just happen to find each other on a kink. Kinky yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. and they said it's not a kink for us. It's just helping me out when I was in pain. Yeah. And now it's... Oh, and it turned no more. into more of an emotional bonding thing. I don't know. But I understand... <sighs> it allows them to spend quality time together. It's definitely brought us closer. Well, yeah, because you're As sucking on my tit. Yeah. So I'm going to say we can't go out on a date or do something because... You have to nurse. I, you want me to nurse you and that's our quality time? So, Shy, <laughs> what if you were still <laughs> breastfeeding... Um, Ace, mm-hmm. and you guys were on a trip, just mm-hmm. you two. You didn't have Ace. Oh, me and Zach are on a trip. You and Zach are on a trip. Would you let Zach nurse you? Be nur- or would you, would you nurse, nurse Zach? Zach? If he- like my boobs were engorged, yeah. 
He sucked on my tits. Okay, but would you let it go on? No! You're a grown man, get off my titty. What if, what if he was like, babe, but it gives me, I want the benefits that it gives Ace. I have extra energy, my skin is looking great. Drink a Celsius and go see a dermatologist. <sighs> you want energy and good skin, there you go. Not the Celsius. Yes. I agree with the dermatologist halfway, but like. Okay, the there's Celsius, no way no. in hell that I'm gonna say, come on, babe, this is bringing us closer together. I want you to nurse me. <laughs> Wait, Long just... after Ace is done nursing, think about it. She said 2017. That's, that's when Ryder time. was a baby. She's now six. Okay? You've been nursing your man <laughs> for if... six years? No, what if your kids walk in on that? They pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure they have. I'm pretty sure they've seen some weird shit in that sure house. I'm pretty sure they have. Is that their norm? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say it has I'm, to be. My mind is blown. Like, should we reach out dad, to them for an interview? Yes. My dad, like, <laughs> you go back to school. Okay, your kid's six, so you're going back to school. Hey, Mike, does your dad suck on your mom's boobs? Like, what are those conversations? Do they tell their Here's kids not thing. to talk Did about it? Did they ever specify if he's doing it from her breast or if she's pumping, pumping. and then he's because drinking she that is milk? Saying that I pump, uh, right? Because but that then would she's be... singing it brings us closer and it's, so it's, I'm a... it's I have so many questions. I have so Can we many... find them? Oh my god, I'm on her Instagram. They first of all, my strange addictions TLC, they doing some weird shit, y'all. They got pictures of him like eh, in Let between me see. the titties. Let me on see. The, they're doing... Oh, so no. So he is sucking her I tits. feel like they might be like doing both. I want to see him do it. I feel like Me too. I want to see Oh my god, he's doing it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me see. Show us. Ah! He's doing Wait, it. Wait, he's like, he, y'all. Just in case you haven't seen it, come on, Shannon, watch out. He's like he's really like, doing really it. Like, <laughs> oh, Shannon, your food's here. Thank you. Oh my oh. God, Shannon's face right now. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna DM them. Yeah, I want to know please. more. They're on TLC's Wait, My so Strange they Addictions. They actually are. So he is nursing from yes. her tip. Yeah, it's a comfort thing. It's it's something. I would like. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Cause no, I want to know more. Klaus, send me their page. I'm a DM her and ask her if she'll come on the podcast. I would like I to know. know. No, she's coddling him. Yeah, yeah. This, I, is, this is no judgment. I just oh, have so no many judgment. questions. But I also want them to know if they don't think this is a kink. But like, it is a kink. This is a kink. It looks really clear. Because the thing says, "Y'all too wild." Us bet. Could you imagine you me being ears. like, "Hold on, Cheyenne, I'm about to nurse my man." <laughs> Would you guys judge me? I gotta me? call you back. Yes! Yes, I would! <laughs> <laughs> I would probably be but like... I just told you now that was like my king. I don't think I would I don't judge have you. Milk. I would... No, okay. it's crazy. Okay. I still... If I squeeze on my boobs... No. I still no. have no. There's no, still okay. stuff that comes out. I'm would done. you look? Would you let your a man if he was like, I want to suck on your tits? No, there's a difference between Maybe sucking on my like, tits hey, and drinking my milk, milk consistently five times a day for That's, six years. You are not my that baby. That is the difference. You're not my. But I would love to talk to you, girl. I would love to know more. I really want to know. I want to know more too. I really want to know. I have cur- questions like, do you change your diet? Do, do you, you still get your period? Eat, like, because normally if you're nursing consistently, you don't your, get your cycle. Your cycle. Because your yeah. body still thinks you're pregnant. That's crazy because so there's so many so benefits So if they wanted to her... have another baby, babe, you have to stop nursing on me. No, I got pregnant while I was still nursing. Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Still got milk. <laughs> I haven't nursed in so long. Oh Literally, sometimes God. I'm in the shower and I'm like, why? <laughs> That's weird. Why? It doesn't like oh, squirt out she's anymore. Actually really. But it's like, it's like there. And I'm like, <laughs> That's strange. Hey, crew. Whether you're a parent, single, in a relationship, in school, or working full time, life can be crazy and our schedules can all be hectic. Luckily, Caraway's nonstick kitchenware makes cooking a breeze and cleanup even easier. And it's basically life proof. It is life made easy in the kitchen. With so many collections of their internet famous kitchenware to explore, there's a Caraway for every kind of cook. A non-toxic, chemical-free ceramic coating means food can be prepared with a peace of mind that no toxic, hard-to-pronounce chemicals will leach into your healthy ingredients. 
Every set comes in various modern shades to fit with any design aesthetic and includes easy access storage solutions to keep the kitchen tidy. My favorite feature about Caraway and its kitchenware and bakeware sets are the organization systems that it comes with. It keeps everything tidy and you know where everything is supposed to be. You know where your lids are. You're not clanking around looking for lids to find, fit on the pots. It really makes the whole kitchen experience just that much better. And now introducing Caraway's prep set. 10 essential knives and utensils designed for chopping better, prepping cleaner, and storing easier. It's just making the kitchen flow that much easier. Thank you, Caraway. Caraway features non-toxic, easy cooking, and well-loved kitchenware and bakeware. Over 50,000 people have raved about their Caraway kitchen. Now it's time for you to try it yourself. Visit carawayhome.com slash TLC to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners, so visit carawayhome.com slash TLC or use code TLC at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. So do you guys have any kinks? Do you have a kink? I feel like you have kink written like on your head. <laughs> Not kink written on her head. It's on me. It's always <laughs> on you. Okay. So would you let your man nurse from you? Um, I don't six years. Would. think that is my kink per se. Like I'm kink friendly, but I'm um, kink friendly. I love that. I am kink friendly. So what's um, your what's your kink? What's a kink to oh Kyle? My God. Um, I really enjoy spankings ouch like like hard ones like put me on all fours no touching wait hold on like it really turns me on <laughs> hold and on hold on hold on said, <sighs> you just said put me on all fours okay i'm on all fours but then you said no touching oh like no penetration oh you just want him to spank like you. just spanking I, it's like, like it really I'm turns sitting me here on. like you're on all fours and not getting it's... touched what the fuck is that doing to you? <laughs> she's <laughs> like so you're on display <laughs> right um but now what is it like the talking that they do or is it the spanking it, i think and it's the, the talking physical for me how do you explain to somebody that you want to be put on all fours and spanked? Or do you just get on all fours and look at them like, spank me? Are you king friendly? Oh, that's a real thing. You ask you them You ask this. them first. Yes. Okay. Um, like, if that's what it is. It, like, it's not like a script or like Are you a, kink friendly? But like, you hold know, on, it hold may on, come hold up. On. Are you kink friendly? Hold on, let me ask that. <laughs> yeah, let's ask Zach. Are you kink friendly? Uh, voice note? Get it together. My phone is like, bitch, don't do this to yourself. <laughs> Hey, babe, just really quick. Are you kink friendly? Let's see if he says something. He's going to be like Cheyenne. He's going to be like Cheyenne. What the fuck did your sister tell you today? What, what do you What do you want to try what now? What is going on today? What, what happened? would you like to okay, try so now? Okay, so do you, when you normally ask people, are you kink friendly? What if they say like, nah, I'm good. If they're a vanilla person, they're not for me. So you um, need, like, you need, like, extra. No, I don't have, like, sex. So, like, when I okay, do, well, when it's you like, do. I'm like, let's go there. But not, not all the time. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. So Kyle wants to be put on all fours in <laughs> spanked. Nice. And she just wants it to gush out. That's what she I got said, from. I'm on all fours. And she no said, no touching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is an image in my head now. Yeah. I it's I don't lot. know why I put like a leash and collar on you in my head. Like Me I too, had you a like barking bit. a little bit. I'm not barking. Like all fours just gave me like animal vibes. Mm -hmm. I could see that. Yeah. Do you? No. Is that what you're going for? No. An animal? No. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I really think that <clears throat> no animal. No animal. <laughs> in a different life, I feel like you would have, like, an OnlyFans and would be in, a like, dominate. a dominatrix suit and, like, whip and, like, Are you a dominatrix? black hair. No, I'm very submissive in the bedroom. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised because you're so, like, don't give me that vibe. I feel like you're such, like, a... No, when I'm in there, like, I don't want to have to take control. Like, you want your it's, I feel like there's so many parts of my life right now that I'm, like... I have to answer to or it's like I'm the one making the decisions or it's yeah. like it's all up to me so at that point it's like Sex what do you want from me sex it what the fuck does that mean <laughs> <laughs> elaborate please 
Okay. Nigga, you got kinks, yes or no? No. <laughs> do you like kinks? Should we? Do is you it wanna... like kinks or have kinks? Are what you... is it? Do you have kinks? Are you kink friendly? Are you, Are you kinky? kinky? Okay. okay. Are you kink friendly or kinky? For... Do you want to send him a test? Bro, you can't be in the back of the voice note. <laughs> She's trying to sound really cute and right, sexy right. right now. Let her do her thing. I'm sorry. Are you kink friendly or kinky? Like, if I want to be put on all fours and spanked, will you do that? (laughs) Will you do that? He's going to say no. (laughs) Or he's going to say, is this Kyle? (laughs) Kyle, is this you? I think that's the funny part. Because I've always been, like, a very, like, sensual and, like, sexual person. So I think people sometimes think I'm just, like, out here, like, walling out. But have you always been this way? Or did somebody turn you out? Um, when I was, like, 20, in, like, my mid-20s, so I used to date this older man, and he was... Hold on, you just sent me a link very quickly. Why did you have this, like, I just Googled ready? it really fast. Oh, okay. No. What All was right. the link? It's like what a... What kind of sexual deviant are you? Yeah, it's like a whole oh. kink test. The website is BDSMtest. Do you send this org. to your man before you um, have a date? I'm about to send <laughs> no, this to No, but I that. have sent this to some people where, like, we'll be talking and we'll do it and we'll go and compare and see if we're possibly, like, oh, shit. Compatible. compatible. He compatible. said, I'd spank you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you get them something? Tune in to next week where we will hear about Cheyenne getting spanked. Uh-oh. Zach is over there. His, they're over there. I'm going to go now. and Zach's going to be like, get on all fours. Get on this table. Uh-oh. We started something. Cheyenne's <laughs> over there playing and Zach is like, ooh, she's sexing me. Would you be down for a, a scavenger hunt that leads into like a sex night? Like a fun, what? like, that would be your date day <laughs> night? What? Because Kyle's had I've had a really fun scav- hunt. scavenger hunt. I don't understand. Okay, I was dating this guy. Okay, so back to you asking if I got, like, turned out or something. No, I did not get turned out, but I was, like, dating this man where um, I just got out of a relationship where the guy I was dating was not, like, it wasn't a sexual relationship, and I was there for a couple years. So when I got out, like, you know, I went to this all-girls school, and I was, like, not really sexual, and I was, like, going through this whole, like, sexual awakening, and I was trying to figure my shit out and be, like, how does this thing work or what what is going on? Um, and I, like, in the past, I experienced, like, sexual trauma, so I was trying to, like... I gotta put my phone away. <laughs> Cheyenne has found a new kink possibly with her man. We have put some. What are you guys sexting? I don't know if I necessarily want to be spanked. I feel like he's going to spank me too hard. No, you might like it. I didn't know I was going to like it. I just like. Are you you are you more like a? You're not a. I don't like being spanked. I like to be spanked like in the mid like if I'm in the moment. I like being spanked like in the kitchen when I'm making tacos. Yeah, <laughs> like, do you guys like cute little foreplay? Like, like what is foreplay to you? Like if my if we're having sex, but you can do foreplay all day. I don't know. Yeah, I, and I agree and with you. up to that. I yeah. agree. I'm just trying to picture me on all fours <laughs> getting spanked. <laughs> I like being spanked in the middle of like he's like, "Come on, turn over," or what? I don't know. Look at shit <laughs> fluffing her hair up. <laughs> Shannon, do you have any kinks? What do you like? Mm-hmm. Y'all ever been tied up? I was laughing because you were saying in the beginning, mm-hmm. I didn't touch my vagina. Now I'm all about my vagina <laughs> I and love like it. this crazy sex and toys. And I feel like it, it's a person. Like ah. I never knew I had all these like wants and needs and like fetishes mm-hmm. until I w- I've been with this person. Not and it, he's, I feel like he's like, hey, are you still just- steaming? Are you still doing that? Yeah. But I feel like even with him, like, I've done things to him that he's like, oh, shit. And he's... Shannon's going through like, an awakening. I feel sexual. like he's like, this can, is this the is best cool. sex. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, my, I don't know if I have a kink. I just like different things. I'm just learning new things and having fun. 
I bought a, I, I, um, I don't know if we fun. talked about this, but like a friend showed me a, a sex toy so that, that they used. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Maybe me and my man will like that too. What toy was it? It was um, a penis ring. It was like a green. A, it was like a green penis <laughs> ring, but it was like all these vibrating things. And we tried Why it. Why are you guys going like this? Because it was this? like a, It's like a hand. Okay. Yeah, like I'm going to be the penis. Be it the was ring. a penis. So you put it on the penis. Uh-huh. Excuse me. You guys like, Watch, you have to watch the YouTube to see so, the demonstration. So, yeah. so here's here's the, the hold for the cock the the cock ring. I hate saying cock. It's such a da- nasty word. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> and then it had like this like Rock hand this thing where like it like it holds the penis shaft. It like vibrates. Or it could go on like it can either vibrate <laughs> your vagina while you're... I think I need to see a picture. <laughs> it was like really weird, but we tried it and he was like, this shit hurts because like. The ring the holds ring. a lot of tension. Tension. Yeah, but there's different sizes. Sometimes you sizes. might need to take it closer to the base. It's supposed yeah. to be down to the base. But I don't know. Anyways, it wasn't for us. Uh-huh. We've done other things, and okay, it's just amazing. I've never seen it. that movie I love that you tried where it. they did the grapefruit. And they got yes, it from like yes, another yeah. movie or whatever. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, Shai, what was that movie called? The Davises? Fuck you. I'm just teasing. So we watched this movie, right? And Zach was like, let's try that. Like, let's order grapefruit. Yeah. And then... Did you... We tried it, but we made the mistake. Of... And then text me, like, midway. <laughs> we, text... <laughs> we made the mistake of putting the grapefruit in the fridge. So it was cold. It wasn't... Was it too cold? It was in room temp. <laughs> was it supposed to be room temp? Yeah, yes. because if you put something oh. cold, it won't come out. And, like... Yes. So he was, was like the vagina. He was like, bro, this shit is fucking freezing my penis. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I don't know if Kyle was there when we watched the movie or no. something. Like for some reason, we were like, we gotta tell Kyle. <laughs> that <laughs> that is hilarious. And I feel like it was like, well, what are you doing now? Still trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. like, why are you texting text me during sex? No, we literally were thinking you know like, I love should it. we microwave the grapefruit like to take the chill off? Like it was so many things. It was probably the funniest like sexual moment just because I was hilarious awkward or weird as it may be that you guys reached out to me during that time like I have gifted Cheyenne and Zach little like toys sex games yeah. Yeah. or toys she'll get us like little card years. games and stuff and I'll be every now and I'll be like did you use it yeah like have you guys played the game the funny thing hilarious. is our friends were <sighs> over like uh, maybe a few days after and they saw all these grapefruits <laughs> and they were like <laughs> What are you guys up to? And we told them the story. That is funny. And then my friend texted me. Well, it's really Zach's friend. And then I became friends with his wife. So we were talking like a few weeks later. And she was like, we tried the grapefruit. And we did it room temp. And it worked well. (laughs) You're like, damn it. I was. We felt like the biggest idiots. Because that shit was cold as fuck. That's funny. I was going to mention. That's a kink like temperature play. Drinking ice cold water and then giving yeah some head. Well, yeah, I mean, temperature I love... play is like putting ice in your mouth, yeah. or you can use but like that candles. That was too much temperature play. That was this. That was this. It was and it was fucking messy. Like the juice was going everywhere. <laughs> I'm I like grapefruits, but I don't like grapefruits that much. So it was just a lot to handle. Um. This one company before sent me a candle that you burn and then you pour uh-huh. on your partner. And I, How is that? I've always wondered. I like, like that. Because it kind of burns a little. Okay. Because that's why I wonder, like, does it, like, how, it like, doesn't is burn it sexual? Long. Like, is it weird? Like, how? It stimulates your senses. Like It's your... just like, ooh. Like, ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Yeah. Interesting, you guys. That just gave so many ideas. So. There's praise kinks. Praise what kinks. praise kinks? Like when a guy, like you'll do something and be like, oh, like good girl or something. Or like. I don't think I like that. Um, I don't like that Or if that you're either. like praising your man or something. Like there's different ways. Oh, no. This list says a vomit fetish. Sexual attraction to the act, sight, or sound of vomiting. Mm. I'm okay. That one's not That's for me. That's interesting. That's kind of. Tentacle stuff. Tentacle. Sexual attraction to aliens, octopi, anything with tentacles is very real. 
So it's like, oh, there's literally tentacle shaped dildos. Like that's that's a lot to go in. This is a very specific (laughs) fantasy. Horny for robots. This includes hyper realistic (laughs) sexual dolls. Mm. Fan fiction about robotic sex. Okay, okay. Robotic sex. Yeah. Huh. Are they? Oh, oh, the, oh this one is attraction <clears throat> to hair. So erotic response to hair. It could be in your armpit, chest, pubic, or head. Well, you wouldn't like me because I just lasered everything. <laughs> me too. My mm-hmm. vagina's bald and my booty hole. Same. I think that's another interesting, like, I think some guys are not used to that. Yeah. And I'm like, the first time we had sex, he was like, was, oh. Yeah. He was like, so he was like, I just love how, like, <laughs> like well, <laughs> there you are. Bring I can, that I can just pussy see to me. everything. <laughs> oh, I could just lay on her. Like, well, it's just it's different. It is. When it's I, different for your partner. But he was laughing. I was laughing the other day because he was just rubbing on me, on my butt. And he was like, I found some hairs. <laughs> I'm dead. He's like, are you going to go to your laser appointment now? Great. But when I started laser, I legit only at first would just do, like, my bikini area. I was very specific that I still wanted, like, Some something hair. down there. And then I remember I was on, like, a staycation with my friends, and I saw one of my friends change. And she lasered everything. Like, she lasered yeah. her legs, her underarms, her arms, her stomach, her oh, shit. lip, Shh. like she lasered the whole entire body and she just looked so clean mm-hmm. and just like she was like, it was the best decision ever for me to laser it all and to stop trying to like make Fight it with cute. it. Yeah. yeah. So she was basically like, you know, like once you start, like you're gonna, if you don't continue to do this, then like your vagina hair will basically like grow back grow like back, patchy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, no, I want to do it. So I did it all. And then she's like, okay, flip over. We're going to do the butt. Yeah. And I was like, hey, you, you have to hold spread, your butt. Yeah. Yeah. You spread your you butt. Spread. So I've had it done like okay. six times now. And there's some people who have me like lay on my stomach and you spread your cheeks or you lay on your side and you kind of like butterfly open, yeah. and then you open your butt. And I'm happy that I did it. I really like the bear butt. I, me too. I'm down with the bear butt. Um, I love our conversations. I, uh, <laughs> I've been looking at lasering lately. And these are things I wish I did in my 20s where I'm like, why? But you, you would still, still have to. No, no, no. Like, I know, even I'm going to do laser, it now. Like, you still have to do touch-ups. So, like, my yes. legs on my, the hair on my legs <clears throat> don't grow. But I still get 15-minute touch-ups on my mm-hmm. legs. And they, like, look at it. And they're, like, trying to find hair. So, it's like. I feel like a lot of people who ask me, like, oh, what do you, do you like laser or whatever? I like laser. I feel mm-hmm. like it has, like, changed a lot of things. It's it's changed my skin texture also. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's helped, like, my razor bumps go away. Um, especially if you exfoliate and then do it, it helps, like, a lot. So I would suggest laser to anyone. But it's not a one-time fix-all how I feel no, like no, people, people think, think it yeah. is. Like, mm-hmm. oh, six sessions and then I'm done. No. no. My friend who lasered her whole body, she still has to do mm-hmm. touch-ups. Yeah, you do little touch-ups here and there, but it's just keeping that up. It's still maintenance. Yeah. So do maintenance. Yeah, but my question is, like, I always wonder if I would do the full Brazilian or, like, leave you might something. might as well just do the full Brazilian. Yeah. Like, I asked said. Zach, like, what he preferred yeah. and... And we had this whole conversation about, like, a landing strip, and then it ended in, like, I know where to land, like, regardless. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, hey, fuck it, I'm about to laser it all. Like, but I liked how you touched uh, on, like, I think one of my biggest reasons why I love doing lasering, too, is because, like, it, like, the texture of my skin, and, mm-hmm. like, when I do do, like, no razor bumps, like, mm-hmm. it's smooth, like, I don't have discolorations. Yeah. Or, like, that from like waxing or like um yeah. it's helped so much yeah. with all of that i just started doing my stomach oh I'm almost done with this wax pass i bought a wax you've pass. been talking about this wax pass for years okay i bought a wax pass pre-covid yeah years <laughs> so how when are you done or, or i had when should another, be done by now i had another baby and then it was like i couldn't even book services and then there was like 13 waxes on there and you recently, can't get your money back? no, it's it's been paid for. Recently, I thought I had one wax left on there, and I was like, "Yeah, I get to redirect my waxing money to lasering." And then the last time I went in, they were like, "Okay, Miss Floyd, you've got three more 
waxes on your mm-hmm. on your package. I don't know how you can get waxed. That shit is so Would bad for me. Would you like to buy another mm-hmm. one? And all I, I was like, that gives me anxiety. Wine. Yeah, I felt like they were ripping my vagina. Off. Maybe I like a little temperature play. Just kidding. Well, temperature play laser's hot. <laughs> Oh, is it? I've never yeah. lasered. Yeah. I don't know. That shit is like a little... Does it hurt? It's just like a little I zap. think now I'm like p- prone to it. Like I don't... Yeah. What level do you go to? I don't know. Oh. They just do whatever settings. I. You should ask. I should ask. You should ask. You should know. I don't know what level I'm on. But I know I haven't gone up a level because I know... Mm. Yeah. My, See, um, you need to go up. You need to get between like a 14 and a 12. Good to know. You're probably at like eight and nine right now, and you're gonna keep having to go back until you get to at least a twelve. I'm probably. I feel like I'm pretty high because I. Or maybe a ten. Does it hurt? I feel like I said. I think I'm. Do you feel it or? Yeah, I feel it. Then you, you can go up. Do you have a pain? Like, what's your pain tolerance like? I don't know. My pain tolerance kind of high. I have a high so. pain tolerance. <laughs> Both y'all. Yeah. Every, pain, every it's time annoying. I go, go, I'm like turn it up. <clears throat> so. Maybe uh, maybe next time I'll turn it up. Turn it up, turn it up. I do. I'm not turning this shit up. Turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up. I'm ready. Turn it up. I I want mine to be nice and. Yeah, no. I feel like (laughs) lasering is one of my things that I really like for like. Like, you know how we always talk about, like, self-care and stuff? Yes. yes. I feel like I get excited for my laser appointments. Yeah, like even it feels good It feels to... good to get it done. Like, this past week, oh my God. Zach was saying that he wanted to go golfing. And I'm like, well, what time? And then it was the same time that my laser appointment had been booked. And this mm-hmm. appointment has been booked for five weeks. And I'm looking at him like, you're going to have to go golfing a different day. Because lasering is important to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm getting this done. I'm getting this done. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this kink list. I just saw another kink I've never heard of. What is it? It's called figging. What is figging? Figging is a sexual activity that involves putting ginger root in the anus or Doesn't that burn? vagina to create, create a deliberate and intense burning sensation. Ouch. So we're putting like, gingers in our butthole? Yeah, but why would you want that? To, I feel like that would hurt. I don't know. I just think I'm just going to put that in under, like, a masochist, mas, masochism. Like, people get, like, pain off, uh, pudge off for pain. I don't want you to stick ginger in my, in my booty. Thing. No, thank you. I feel like yeah. that would, like, burn, like, long term. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. it would be a lingering burn after sex. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> There's said, a lot on mm, here mm. where it's, like... I know I'm kink friendly, but like a lot of this, I'm like, that don't sound scary. You wouldn't do. I mean, like, n- no one's fisting me ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, just, that was the first thing that just I just saw. Like, uh, but yeah, no, I'm really curious to hear more about. We got to reach out to our. Our nursing our friend. Our nursing, nursing friend. friends. I'm very curious. And it's also like, are there, since they've come public or shared their story, Looks do like they have like a community of people that also, also do this. are in the same lifestyle? They're like, yes, um, Lord, thank you for coming out. Yeah. Well, I do know that there's like a whole like wet nursing world, but that's mm-hmm. where like guys will like pay women who are lactating to nurse on them. And that is a sexual. Oh, it's a sexual, it's a sexual, sexual thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, to lactate on them, like so, squeeze their milk on them, like to nurse on to them. Nurse them. Yeah. Like age oh. play, like when they're like infantile or like baby. So that's interesting. Mommy. So if you're doing that, is your are you single or is your man okay with you lactating another man? It depends. I would. I, I have know. no idea. I've never no been idea. in that situation. <laughs> Like that. I got an interesting question. Like that's a maybe we should bring like a sexual coach on or something. <clears throat> I have a friend or a dominatrix or someone who I want to bring on. Okay, he is in a non-ethical monogamous relationship with a woman. What does that even mean? Can you talk English? Non-monogamy. Okay, ethical non-monogamy is also known as consensual non-monogamy. Is an approach to relationships wherein people can have more than one romantic or sexual partner at a time and everybody involved is aware and 
enthusiastically consents to the dynamic. So I'm in a relationship with Zach, but Zach can be in a relationship with Sarah, and Mm -hmm. I can be in a relationship with John, Mm -hmm. and we all are happy. Yes, but, like, it's you and Zach when it comes down to it. But it's, like, you can go do whatever, and you may go come home and so be like, oh, my God. is not just Zach? an open not relationship? Sarah. That's what I thought. Yeah, I feel but like I they just know. put a fancy title on an yes, open relationship. Girl, there's so many terms around here. I'm like, you want to who? Would you ever do that? Would you ever be in an open relationship with someone? I wouldn't. I, I couldn't. I don't think I could. Um, but then there's parts of me where I'm like, part of me could, but that's just not what I want. I couldn't imagine saying, all right, babe, I'll see you later. I'm going out with Tom tonight. Or him being like, see you later. I'm about to go hook up with Sarah. What the fuck are you about to go? Like, no, you're not. Yeah. Come here. Someone's going to get hurt, you know? Like, there's going to be an emotional snappage at some point where it's like, what are we doing? But that's just not for me personally. Yeah, I could see how people could do it. But I personally could not be in an open relationship. Mm -hmm. No, me neither. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a... What if you're in a relationship, you're in love, you guys get married, and he says that he wants to take another wife? Could you do that? Nope. Damn, she ain't, She said nope quick. Why would you want another wife? Because I don't want to be bothered all the time either. So <laughs> you could do that? <laughs> I just had a moment. Kyle, are you... She was over there and, like, thinking about it. Right. Could you um... do that? Could you have... Would you let your man have another wife? Y'all, I don't even have a man to okay. even hypothetically, and like... Hypothetically, hypothetically if you had say, a man and you guys got married and he said he wanted to get another wife, gosh. would you still be down for the marriage? It's not religious-based. It's just, this no, is what I want. No. No. If it's not a conversation we've had ahead of time or something where we're both on the same page, yeah. like... No. Yeah. I don't think so. But if Zach was like, hey, shy. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Zach would be sitting on the corner Goodbye. with his stuff. Goodbye. Talking, yeah. Trying to be talking about, I got a man cave uh, up for rent. Okay, <laughs> like, goodbye. I didn't hit that little light skin boy upside his head. But I feel like uh, that's crazy. Like, if, if I came home and told Zach, hey, I want to get a second husband. That would be so, yeah. How would, do you feel about that? See, I would take on another husband. We know you would. Mm-hmm. Look at Shannon's face. We know you would take on another husband, Kyle. I would probably have three husbands if she could. In One different f- countries. <laughs> All right. What fantasy world? She was quick with that one. Are you in three different countries? What are you gonna Kyle. do? And then what? They gave you. They put you on a private plane so to fly from have one husband wife, to the other. But you could have three different husbands. They, in can, different have a, they can have another wife in the other country if it's like a seasonal thing. Oh uh, my God, Kyle! I'm done with you. It's like work based. <laughs> All right, Kyle, just stop talking. <laughs> just stop talking right now. <laughs> no, it's so crazy. Like Kyle like, needs a baby in her head, and then I do. It just yeah. comes out. Because yeah. at first you it's said like, no. Well, and then she came up with three husbands and two three. and other wives that are seasonal and then work related. <laughs> like, what? I have a question for you. The thoughts that come into your head, like, uh-huh. who do you tell them to? Like, do you text your friend? Do you, Like, what do you do? It's... Hey, I met Kyle's new friend the other day. Oh, you did? Yeah. She's, she's nice. She is nice. She was on the podcast. Uh, what do you one, think about her? The one was, was <laughs> that your first out. time meeting her? <laughs> no, no, she was uh, there during the mom play date oh. when she invited all these after our friend after her friend episode and mm-hmm. Kyle saying she had no friends. Uh huh. I have friends <clears throat> now. She invited all her friends to a pool date. It was not all my friends. Uh-huh. It was two well, other moms. It was, okay, you have mom friends yeah. that she always claims that she doesn't, she doesn't have, have. But, but those okay, were new friends. they all they kept. Popping up, and I said, Oh, shit. shit. It's like, Shit. Friend, friend, guys, friend. The I said, podcast okay. inspires me to do more in my life. And we had that conversation. And like the following weekend, I was you like, You invited people over. I'm yeah. going to have a mom weekend. Okay. And so, what did you think about Kyle's new friend? I love them. I yeah. was like, Oh, okay. We can all bond. We can all be, on, we're all on kind of the same pa- uh, page. Uh huh. Clicked. I was like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. I would love to have like a sex therapist or sex Mm -hmm. coach or sex doctor on the show. Because we talk about sex a lot. We do. It's it's a huge part of life. And I don't feel like a lot of women talk about it. Yeah. I feel like it's like a cliche for women to talk about sex. I would just love to get like another person here who actually like knows about knows about sex in a different way that we know about sex. Yes. 
to like mm-hmm. bounce questions off of. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that we should bring like a sex coach in? <gasps> who is the woman really who cool. has the sex podcast? Shan or something? Yeah, everybody. She does shows. She always. I've had a few people be like, "You guys need to reach out to her." I just I haven't. Um, I think be cool, and she can teach us tricks stuff. and things that we can do. Shannon said, I need "Teach a, me a I trick." I need a man <laughs> first. I don't huh? know. Shannon's like, "Where the tricks at?" And I'm like, "Who is?" Who? <clears throat> I want to learn how to squirt on command. Oh my god! Okay, you can teach yourself that. <laughs> okay, how about a uh, WTF advice for this week? Still no sex. Just kidding. <laughs> Is that your WTF? Was that your WTF? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think I want to have sex, and which is so crazy. Oh my god! Are here we, we go. Here we go. You just said. <laughs> Last week, you don't want to have sex. Are you going to cry? No, I think my body no. was like, I'm like, help. But my body is like feeling one thing, but like my mind is like, work, kids, work, kids. And I need to be like, work, kids, me. And like that sex is Or you like, need to be me, kids, Yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle's Ooh. WTF is that she needs to get I'm, laid. I'm touch starved. <laughs> I don't want to say touch starved, because then I feel like that sounds like desperate to be touched. No. But I'm not desperate to be touched. You just want to be touched. By someone who I want to touch me. Okay. Okay. Shannon, and you I don't got know something? Who that is yet. <laughs> you go first. Um, okay, my WTF is I'm trying to potty train Ace. Aw. And he is naked. A lot. 99% of the diet. Literally, he's naked all the time. Mm-hmm. And he does not like to wear a diaper. He does not like to wear clothes, actually. He'll literally say, take off my shirt. No diaper. No pull-up. Is he your wild child? Yes. He's I love that naked for you. One. He's naked all the time. And I'm like, <laughs> where are your clothes, Ace? And he will throw the clothes at us. Like, he does not want to wear clothes. Mm-hmm. But within potty training, it has helped that when he's naked, he can kind of feel the sensation a little bit more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sorry, you guys. It's okay. Mom life today. Buzz, go, yeah, Buzz, go sit go down. Here. While him being naked, he does feel like the sensation a little bit different than when he has a diaper on. So I feel like... Okay. It does help, but I guess like my WTF is that the other day he was naked and boss. <clears throat> he had gone in the pantry to get some chips and he was in there for a little while longer. So I'm like, what is he doing in there? So he comes out and he has like the clamp that you clamp the chip bag I'm with. I'm scared. And I was getting up to get it and I didn't move fast enough and he like clamped the side of his little (laughs) pee-pee and was screaming. I'm like, oh, my God, my son's poor penis is, like, broken forever. Stop. And I'm, like, sitting there, like, checking it, like, making sure it's okay. I'm, like, flipping and flopping it and, like, (laughs) bending it. And he's just looking at me, like, Shine like I'm playing with my child's <laughs> penis like, to make sure it's okay. Sure that it's like if it was broken, <laughs> right. if it was broken, I feel like he would have cried right, yeah. when I like touched it. But he was just looking at me like, like what are you? Like, but us. He was just looking at me like, what are you doing, lady? And like, why are you still touching me? But that was my WTF. I felt like Ace literally almost clamped his penis off. I'm sorry. Have you had a boy. moment like that with Parker where he clamped his penis or did anything weird? He zipped his penis. Oh, my God. So he's, baby. I think he's still traumatized with zippers. <laughs> my whole vagina just clamped. Yeah. He okay. zipped his little skin. Oh, I pray for uh, those moments. <laughs> to stay away. Um, My advice of this week would be stay in the moment and yeah. I don't know what that means, but I feel like it just came to me, and I feel like somebody needs to hear that today. Maybe it was me who needed to hear, stay in the fucking moment. But here we go. There we go. Stay in the okay. moment. That song, sure. I don't, I've never heard <laughs> but that yeah, song. I, yeah, I feel like sometimes you, you go really fast in life, or you're doing five million things, or whatever's happening in your life. Mm-hmm. But be in that moment, be in your moment. 
Yeah. I like that, Shannon. I, I think that's that. good for you, Shannon. Yeah. yeah, I think it's me giving myself advice. And sometimes that's what we week. have to do. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. in a moment of giving myself advice. Yeah. As always, thank you guys for tuning in to the Think Loud Crew podcast. You can follow us on Instagram and on YouTube. You can follow me at Shy Not Shy. You can follow me at Archive in. And you can follow me at Hair by Shannon C. We're going to actually do some research and get like a real sex person on here yes. so that it's not just us three hornballs talking about sex no. anymore. <laughs> All right? Mm-mm. And don't forget to tell your crew about, about our, our crew. crew.